Oh, absolutely disgusting. Right guys, here's what your average Scottish October looks like. Wet, miserable, luckily it stopped raining just now. But I'm on a building site nearby me where they're doing a lot of houses and stuff, so the area is absolutely huge. And I figured, well, it's like this and I can make the most of it. I'll get some crawling done here so it'll be nice and muddy. So I've got the Elements Enduro HD and the Traxxas TRX4. So we're going to see how they do getting through all this. Um, hopefully it'll be a nice dirty video. Real into this just now and um, yeah, we'll be back at the end and see what we think. But hopefully you enjoy the footage. I'm going to have a lot of fun. Definitely going to need a bath when I get home. So yeah, please enjoy this. If you do, like, subscribe and all that stuff. And hopefully we'll have a live on tonight. So um, if you're interested in that, I'll put a link up later on when we do this. But yeah, let's get some crawling done.
Right guys, well that was absolutely awesome while it lasted. Obviously a really hardcore mud I was going through there, so it ended on a little bit of a downer, nothing too bad. TRX, as you can see, lost a wheel in the middle of that crawl there, so she's not going anywhere. Possibly a burnt out motor too. She's revving away, but it could be a low battery, I'll have to look at that later. And once that cuts off, we'll come back, here we go. Obviously, it looks like I burnt the motor out on the Sendero as well, so brushed motors, that's kind of what happens when you go in mud, but I'll tell you something, that was absolutely worth every minute. So much fun with the two trucks, they both done really well. Surprisingly, the Element Sendero, I think, done a little bit better than the TRX4 in some situations. The TRX4 looks way more scale, the suspension works a lot better than the Element Sendero HD, but all that comes at a cost of the weight. So having the weight, you get the nice body effect when it's rolling about and things, but the weight can kind of let you down and mud and stuff. So it's got some positives and some negatives. The Sendero is the same. It's light, can skip over a lot of stuff, but you do lose a little bit of scaleness, I think, watching it driving. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun. Obviously got these two cars to clean, which surprisingly they're not as dirty as you would think they are when you take the cases off them. I'll just show you the Sendero inside for example. It could have been a lot worse, so brush motor replacement, brush motor replacement. Possibly might even put the TRX4 brushless and put um, maybe an axe system or that in it eventually. But yeah, I really wanted to get some crawling done today guys. Been a little while and I thought with the mud and the rain, just seemed to be the perfect time to get out. So yeah, have fun with your RCs, I'll catch you guys later and if you're not subscribed already, please do, I'd really appreciate that. Plenty more videos coming all the time and I'm not too sure what car I'll take out next, but I don't think it's going to be one of these two for a couple of weeks or so till I get them checked over and repaired. So, see you in the next one. Paul out. Bye.